Good morning. So this vlog is going to feature my brother, my dad, and myself. I'm getting ready to head to Elk River Resort to do some fishing in Central West Virginia. And I'm gonna take you along with us. Not sure what all we'll get, because I'm leaving the good camera where it cannot get wet and taking the GoPro. But I'm getting ready to head out. I'm gonna invite you to come along. Good morning from the Elkins Hardies. So it's been an adventure this morning. The sun's finally up and uh, I like that. <laughs> But something weird happened to me as I was entering Elkins. Uh, someone was driving their vehicle on the wrong side of the interstate. So that was fun. But I've got my Hardee's biscuit and I'm getting ready to leave. Got about an hour until I get to Elk Springs. So looking forward to seeing my brother and my father and looking hopefully forward to catching some fish. So continuing out of Elkins, we're on our way to Elk Springs. So we've made it. This is where we're going to be this week. There's no cell service, so I have no clue where my brother's at. I think I know which cabin they're in, but I'm gonna get settled in and then I'll show you what I'm looking at. So we're home, we found it. That's where we're staying. So here's a look from our cabin. Across the way is the restaurant and then Here's our lovely cabin. So we're staying in the Harley cabin, which is the Harley Davidson cabin. There's Chris getting the pole ready. Your pole. Yep. Dad is tying on a fly, getting his pole ready. But this is uh, this is it. This is the cabin. We have a closet right here, a bathroom, and then a microwave, coffee pot, and mini refrigerator. So. It was a fun drive in. I'm gonna take the GoPro out when we go fishing and record from my phone. So I'm not sure what footage we'll actually get today, but here's to some catch and fish. So this is the island where you can stay. Real pretty hole of water. It says there's four of them. Can't tell if he's got one or he's got he's snagged. Oh, way to go, Chris. The big one's got one. That big log. Wow. So obviously you're not allowed to fish here in this section of it. But right there is the restaurant and the fly shop, which we're getting ready to go in. But ding dang, look at all these big trout. So we've made it to the restaurant and fly shop, but I just can't get over the size of these trout. I mean, they're scooting over those rocks. I mean, that's unreal. Yeah, you can see him fish bites. So this is the restaurant at Ellie Mays, and Dad was telling me, what were you saying about it? Well, as a young girl, she was tying flies and fly fishing. Uh, she's grown up now, but, uh... but there's just monsters in this thing. I mean, you can hear them splashing. I mean, there's a Goldie up there. So, Dad, where are we? This is Elk Springs Resort in uh, Monterville, I think it is, West Virginia. Nice. So what's special about this area? Well, there's a section of river here, pretty good sized section. It's all catch and release. I mean, I'm sitting here, I can see three trout just floating out yeah, there. This is, this is part of Elk Springs, and this is catch and uh, fly fishing only here. But it's catch and release on downstream. Nice. And then back behind us is a restaurant, and isn't it West Virginia's largest fly shop? I don't know. <laughs> Due to, due to COVID-19, it's carry out only for restaurants, so I'm probably gonna try to get lunch there tomorrow before I head home to give it a try. Fly shop's open, I might go in and take a look at it. All right, so we're inside the shop, so they have 
all these different flies that he ties. You can actually see over here, he tied them himself. But they have a really good selection of different things. It's awesome in here. But over here, is this the pay pond? So over here you can pay and catch your limit and then you gotta take it home with you. But it goes further out than just this little thing. I don't think this is the actual pay pond. I think it's over where the bridge is at. But very cool. Dad, where are we heading fishing today? We're gonna try the Slady Fork first, which is the a feeder stream to the elk. It's the Slady Fork of the elk. Very cool. And it's it's a catch and release. So, not gonna have any trout for dinner unless we buy it from the restaurant. Not much water at all. No? So Dad said that's the start of the Elk River. As you can see, an old railroad bridge. So we're still hiking back in, running alongside this old abandoned railroad. But, the river's looking pretty good. couple of people parked when we got down here so I'm not sure what we're gonna get into but real pretty river we're getting ready to go back on the railroad tracks so I'm gonna put you back in my pocket because I don't want to break my ankle there's dad's house over there but this must be a depot because you can see four separate tracks here we're going up in the middle So we're, we've made it up, I just wanted to show there's been beavers in the area for a while, but there's an old box car. So did someone just like live in it? Because it's not on wheels. I have no idea why that's here. They use it for an office. Or... So we've made it to the river. Dad's tying on a nymph and I'm going to be using my spinner reel, running some flies. I'm going to start off with a minnow, see how I do. First fish of the day. So dad, what is he? It's a brook trout. Nice. So this is catch and release. So all of our fishing hooks have no barbs on them. And we're going to release them back to his home. You, got, you want to say goodbye to the fish, Dad? And away he goes. Good job, Dad. Thank you. So there's Chris screwing around in the river, trying to get it to float down the seam there. We hiked all the way back from that direction. Dad has gone down a little bit. I have switched over to my spinner and have used pliers to bend the bars down on the treble hook. But no luck, had a couple hits out there right in front of that rock there, but didn't get them in, so. I'm gonna move on down the river as soon as Chris is done with this cast. We just got done hiking down river. We're letting Chris have first stab at the hole. But it's a pretty cool fork hole. See if he can get something. Look at that form. It's been a while since we've seen you. We're now over on the Elk River we're gonna do some fishing here. So we walked all that way back on the abandoned railroad track for my dad only to catch the only fish. So, but got my 10,000 steps in, so that's okay. This is what we're looking at, the big old bridge. I'm gonna walk out to give you a view. Let Chris have first chance at the hole. Dad, how did it feel to catch the only fish? There's Chris. 
This is the view from up here. It's real pretty down this way. They definitely put in some new lumber because this bridge looks like it's seen some better days. Whatever you do, don't look down. Hard to believe this is November and it's 70 degrees in West Virginia. Typically it's really cold. We had a cold morning, but I'm gonna hang up because it looks like I'm not gonna have a spot to fish if I don't fight for it. So check in with you from the river. So we're right here, but dad went across the bridge and hurry down to a spot where he just caught one, but I don't think he got it all the way in because he doesn't have it in his hand. Oh, nope, there he is. He's petting the fish. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. That's two. So dad has uh, the victory. Such a jerk. So after a long day of fishing, Dad made us dinner on the grill. Dad did? What? Chris did the grilling. Well, that's because Dad caught all the fish. We had to cook. So we're having hot dogs with sauce from the meat market back home and macaroni and cheese. This is Dad's first time making instant mac and cheese. All watery. Pretty watery. You be the judge. But we're going to dig in. And then go to bed because we're going to get up early and go fishing tomorrow. But I just love all the Harley Davidson references in here. So we are almost done with our trip. Um, we are checking out at 11, but we've already loaded up the car and we're going to go hit some spots fishing. But uh, just enjoying my coffee. And enjoying this rocker here at Elk Springs Resort. Uh, all in all, we had a good time. Uh, it's a shame that yesterday didn't catch anything, but... At least I had something on my line, unlike my brother. So there's always that. Chris, what'd you think? Not what? You stay here. I always like coming here. Nice to have you for a change, even though you're an idiot. Yeah. Well, at least we're we're equal on that regard. I, mean, I didn't enjoy having to snuggle with you last night, but I don't know. You're so warm. Yeah. You're a freaking furnace. <laughs> And down the path to the river. So I think we're fishing actually on the Elk River today. And the catch and release down from Elk Springs Resort. All right, so dad just tied on a dry fly because one came up and hit his indicator. So he's gonna see if he can get it to hit this time. Go dad, go. So, Dad's going to sneak down because he has a fly rod and going to try to float a dry fly down. But right there's Mr. Fishy. Much too shallow for spinners. So there goes Dad. And there are the fish. Spooked him, there went. The defeated fisherman makes his way back up from the riverbed, knowing he spooked the fish.